This video covers Power SDR 2.7.2 KE9NS Revision S10, and I've added some features to the DX spotting. So, right now, the DX spotting is on, and so is the uh, the gray line tracking. You can turn that off, uh, and you're left with the uh, the DX spotting. And again, you know, you can basically click on one of these and hit the control button and then that'll open up a, a QRZ page for that I can go into the map and I can click on any one of these and it'll go to that uh, DX spot I can right click and again that'll open up a QRZ map but now I've added some new features uh, you can choose to spot uh, CW phone and digital in, in addition to spotting North American or excluding North American spotters. So that's for the DX spotting part of it. You can pause it if they're coming through too fast and furious, like during a contest. Then <clears throat> for the tracking, when I turn the tracking on, you can go into a special pan fall mode, which is the 80-20 split, so you can see the map better. You don't have to, you can um, just keep it in pan adapter if you want to see the whole thing. I prefer because you can kind of see signals a little quicker but also you can choose the sun tracking which loads in NOAA uh, space weather so you got the solar flux index and the A index on the screen and then of course that uh, you've got the on this map you've got the equator uh, and you've got you can faintly see the uh, solstice lines uh, for both the uh, winter and summer for the northern hemisphere and right now the Sun is starting to rise above the equator and in June it'll eventually hit that uh, solstice point and these lines are 15 degrees equal with the center being zero GMT uh, the zero GMT line so you can basically add uh, one two three four five six hours you know so you know you can actually tell time by the lines there's 12 hours on either side 12 12 lines 12 hours on either side so we've added these red dots that uh, put the coordinates from the dxloc.txt file of the dx spot onto the map and you can choose to map them as countries or call signs now they can get quite congested normally if you don't have this checked off it's mapping everything that that you're not filtering out it's mapping everything it can get quite congested so you can choose to map just your band I'm um, in the 40 meter band map the whole band or map just what's in the pan adapter now I've added another feature and that is <clears throat> if I want to I can click you know like this one right now doesn't show the show show the country so that means it's not in this band because I'm not on my pan adapter because I've got it set up for that so I can put the mouse over here uh, click left click just to make sure power SDR is in focus and hit the control key and then that will change it'll show you what country because now you're in that band it'll show you the call and of course the other ones disappear because they're not on the pan adapter so I just click your mouse over that dot over the red dot and hit the control key and then I'll take you to where that is and then you'll see what it was Guatemala I can change it over if I want to just show me the calls instead sometimes there'll be a red dot and it's down in the uh, in the pan adapter so you can use uh, go to setup display and you can change where you want the 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 baseline of your pan adapter to be in the grid so you can get it out of the way if uh, if it's interfering with anything and then again uh, for the gray line you can right click on the center button and now you've got colors and transparencies so you can play with that if you uh, if you choose to you know you can turn off the gray line make it a little easier because you still have the Sun you can make it a little easier to see the spots on the screen it can get quite congested or you can turn off so you're not even showing any of the calls or you just uh, calls or countries you're just showing dots and then if you find a dot that uh, you particularly want you can then click on that and you'll see the call sign up there and again you can then just 
click on that, hit the control key, and you'll open up the QRZ page for that person. So that's it.